understanding and utilizing SEO could be the thing that allows you to show up in those search results, grow your following, expand your business, and ultimately grow your bottom line. The TikTok algorithm is changing. I mean, it's always been changing, but this one's pretty big. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. Either way, it's happening. I know it's happening. Lots of people on the internet know it's happening, and that is the reality. Recently, USA Today posted an article that states that Gen Z is now relying on TikTok as its primary search engine versus Google. This means that if there is something that people in Gen Z want to learn about, know about, buy, etc., they are opening TikTok to search for that thing. Because unlike Google, where you search something and then you have to wade through pages and pages of results, TikTok is able to curate an algorithm that's so specific to each user that if you are to search something, it's gonna generate results that are specific to you and your tastes. So what does this mean for you as a creator? Good news. This is your chance, if you haven't already, to master SEO, use it to your advantage, and start showing up in search on the TikTok algorithm. Now, if you're completely confused, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do not worry. I'm gonna break this down step by step so that you can take the information you learn in this video and apply it to your TikTok profile today. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So right now you might be wondering, what the is SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. Simply put, it allows your content to rank higher in search by using the terms that people are actually searching for. The more visibility you have, the better chance you have at catching people's attention, attracting more clients, or just getting more eyes on your product or service. And SEO helps to index your content to fit those specific users. And so again, you might be asking, what is indexing? It's basically just a fancy word for compiling like or similar content into a single collection. So for example, I create small business content specifically on TikTok. My small business content is likely filed together with other creators who also make small business related content. So for example, on TikTok, I make small business related content. My content is likely indexed together with other users who are also creating small business related content. And so learning and mastering SEO is going to be the thing that matches you and your content to your ideal client who is searching the keywords and phrases related to your product or service. So why does SEO matter? Simply put, learning how to master your content in a way that favors SEO is going to allow you to rank higher in search. This means more eyes on your content and potentially more clients in your business. TikTok has over 1 billion users. And in general, people are conducting searches on the internet trillions of times per year. Your priority should be showing up in those search results. And so understanding and utilizing SEO could be the thing that allows you to show up in those search results grow your following, expand your business, and ultimately grow your bottom line. In summary, mastering SEO is the foundation to any good marketing strategy, and it's been this way for years on platforms like Google, Pinterest, and YouTube. TikTok is simply just catching up to the rest of the game. So how do we use SEO? First, we need to understand keywords. What are the words that people are using to search for things? Now, obviously, if we can get into the mindset of our ideal client, we might have a general understanding of the keywords and phrases that those people would likely be searching searching on TikTok, on Google, and on any other search engine. There are also a number of really helpful tools out there that can help you streamline this process and really indicate what keywords are better to use than others. So some of my favorites are vidIQ, WordStream, or KeywordTool.io, and I'll link those down in the description of this video. Essentially, you wanna understand which words and phrases people are actually searching so that you can create content that utilizes those words and phrases. The goal here is to craft content that directly connects to what people are actually searching for. And this will result in you, your profile, and your content showing up when people search for those terms. And this can be achieved through optimization. So let's start by talking about optimizing your profile first. Again, we always want to think about being searchable in the algorithm, right? So in order to do this, we need to understand what it is that we're trying to sell and how that relates to the terms that people are searching. So for example, if we look at my profile here, you'll see that my headline reads, Danielle Ryan, 
Brian small business tips. Now, obviously the character limits that were allowed in our headline can limit this a little bit, but if someone were to search small biz tips on TikTok, I have a higher likelihood of ranking in search than I would if I didn't have that in my headline. Further to this, as you can see on the screen here, my profile also includes terms like grow your own business, business checklist, etc. These are all highly searchable keywords. So when it comes to you and your profile, you want to think about what the keywords or terms are that people could be searching in relation to what it is you're selling. Is it lifestyle content? Is it social media tips? Is it hormone health? Is it handmade candles? Again, SEO is going to help and favor the content of the people who make it easy for the algorithm to index. So if you have those keywords in your headline, in your bio description, you are telling TikTok, hey, my name is XYZ and this is the content that you can expect from me. Therefore, ranking you higher in search. So by now we get it, we get it, we get it. We know what SEO is, we know how it works and we know how to optimize our profile. Let's get into the most important part of this video and that is optimizing your video content. Just like back in 2010 when it was super important that we had proper SEO in our blog posts with tons of keywords so that Google could show us in the search results, TikTok is following the same trend. With SEO now a priority, TikTok is taking the videos you produce, indexing it to the relevant audience, and ranking those videos in search. It wants to make sure that the content you are producing is reaching an audience that actually wants to watch those videos. Because as we know with any video app, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the goal of the app is to get people to stay on the app. So they want to make sure that the content that they are showing to the audience is something that they're going to want to watch, they're going to want to like, and they're going to want to see all the way through. And so by utilizing SEO in your actual video content, it makes sure that your video content is reaching the appropriate audience and allowing them to stay on the app. So what this means for you as a creator is that if you aren't already, you need to be taking advantage of text on screen. You should also be making sure that you're using the keywords in the description of your video and that the hashtags you're using are relevant to your audience. Gone are the days where we could just include a bunch of trending hashtags and hope that we show up in someone else's algorithm. Lastly, and most importantly, we want to make sure that the actual content of our video and the words that we're saying include those key words and phrases that people are going to be searching. Here's an example. How do you find out the business name registration requirements for your province? Now, I already answered this individual, but I wanted to make it a video because this is a great question and I think it applies to people across the country. And further to that, using keywords in your speech means that you should also be utilizing the closed caption feature on TikTok and going through and making sure that all of the keywords that you're using are spelled correctly. These simple fixes are going to make all of the difference for you. If you've been waiting for your chance to grow on TikTok, this is it. We all know that the chances of virality and the opportunity to grow thousands of followers overnight are pretty much gone on now. But all hope is not lost. Mastering SEO could be not only the ticket you need to grow your TikTok following, but to actually being able to reach the target audience that you're trying to connect with. As always, if you have any questions about the content shared in this video, be sure to leave it down below. I post new videos here on YouTube every Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific, and you can find me on Instagram and TikTok daily for your small business tips. I'll see you again in the next video.